Hello, my name is Yuri Molotov. I'm project engineer in Leica Captivate field software team. And today I will tell you about few Leica Captivate 750 features, which are most related to the IFC round trip. Let's start from the beginning. And imagine you receive the design data files for the project you are working on, which is split into several files. Before, you had to do the preparation step in the desktop software to bring all the data together. In Captivate Leica version 750, you can eliminate this step because you can attach several IFC files at the same time. Now it's not only easier to bring the data straight into the field, it's also easier to understand it there. It means that now we support properties and property sets. For instance, graphical unique identifier of each and every object you can see on the screen. Here, whilst viewing the house model in 3D Viewer, I select the wall and then I call the context menu, which is called information. And here I can see the various properties, including the GeoID. And if I am interested in other property sets, I can view them here. It's not only about attaching or understanding the data in the field. It's also about enriching the model, which will be helpful when we perform as built or as constructed survey in the field. In Leica Captivate version 750, we can interact with an IFC object and use its details to define the code, which we will use later for the data collection. Now, if we perform regular data collection, the measurements we make will be coded with information that links them to the original IFC data. For example, on this object, we can see that the original IFC GeoID has come through into the points and line that we have collected, which means that when we take this data back into our office or CAD environment, we are able to directly associate the newly collected data with the original design data, saving us a lot of manual steps and helping us to enrich our model based on the latest information. Connecting site measurements to the original design data is not only valid for as build survey, but also for stakeout routines, which we allow to do in Leica Captivate version 750. For example, if we enter the stake line app, we are now able to define exactly how we would like to code the stake results. We can have Captivate copy the code and attributes from the design object or use our normal Captivate coding functionality. Even if we do use normal Captivate coding, we can still select to have metadata from the design copied through into our results via the use of the code information field. Here we are able to stake this object and code it using a regular code list, but still have the GUID from the design data brought through into our results, which of course allows us to complete the data round trip that I mentioned before where new information can easily be associated with original design objects back in the office or CAD environment. Importantly, this new functionality is not limited only to stake to line app. It's also available in the stake points app and measure to line app. For a full explanation of these features and other smaller improvements in Leica Captivate version 750, please contact your local Leica representative or go to my world and download the latest version of the release notes.